And now your first Horn 5 forecast, certified most accurate by weather rate. All right, everybody, good Tuesday evening to you. Fortunately, based on the forecast, I don't think there's going to be much need to turn the heat on over the next few uh, days here, even into the upcoming weekend. Sure, it is going to be a bit on the chilly side at night, but I think we'll warm up enough during the day that you don't necessarily need to opt for the heat yet. But of course, that choice is yours. Either way, though, the weather's looking gorgeous here this evening and for the next several days. And we'll start off with a little sample of it here. Live look over downtown Flint, abundant sunshine, not a cloud to be seen. Any Anywhere in the sky as we look off toward the north northwest and it feels good in Flint too. 69 degrees. The current temperature wind is calm for the time being. The barometer has been slowly dropping off here over the last few hours, but that's really just more a product of the fact that as high pressure is kind of settling in over the Great Lakes today, it's kind of doing this back and forth east west wobble as it sinks to the south. So as it drifts a little farther away from us, that's where the very minor drop off trend comes in, but it's not indicative of a major change in the weather pattern anytime soon. Checking in with our weather spotters, Donna Herringshaw in Gladwin reporting gorgeous sunny conditions out there today and a current temperature at 67 degrees this evening. First one five pinpoint Doppler radar live from MBS that of course looking great out there now with the lack of cloud coverage and of course a lot of us especially around say the Midland area in toward the tri cities even into a good chunk of say uh, uh, parts of uh, Bay and Gladwin counties earlier today you saw those clouds prove pretty stubborn for the first half of the day but a hey, important thing is, is we finally did ultimately clear them out and now very few clouds are expected in our skies over the next couple of days because high pressure here is in control. First one five sky tracker centered over Lake Michigan tonight, and it's just going to continue a slow wobble off toward the southeast over the next two to three days. It's going to need uh, mean that is basically repetitive, mostly sunny skies all the way through the end of the work week before then into the upcoming weekend. We'll see this pattern start to break down and some chances for showers are likely to return, but nothing to worry about for this evening. Hour by hour forecast 8 PM straight on into the midnight hour. No major change. Any appreciable cloud coverage for the most part stays off to our east out over Lake Huron. Nothing comes in to replace it as we move on into the overnight period, except for some possible patchy fog as we head in toward first thing tomorrow morning. We are in for chilly temperatures tonight. Winds are going to be calm, so conditions will be appropriate for some fog to settle in, but it will burn off quickly tomorrow morning. And then it's basically a repeat of most of today or today for most of us. Mostly sunny skies as we hit the midday period tomorrow, mid afternoon around three o'clock and dinner time tomorrow evening at six looking great. And we'll do this all over again as we head into tomorrow night, ultimately on into Thursday. Although with high pressure still in control, we'll likely at least see a few scattered clouds work into our skies for Thursday, but still a mostly sunny day expected. Low temperatures tonight again a bit on the chillier side, expecting a lot of us from the tri cities east into the thumb to stay in the mid 40s, upper 40s along I 69. Flint metro area and some lower 40s for folks farther to the northwest, but everybody makes a nice recovery for tomorrow. Low to mid 70s from the tri cities inland with some slightly cooler, but still very nice mid to upper 60s across the thumb. 47 is going to be your overnight low for tonight. Mostly clear skies, patchy fog, like I said, settling in a bit closer to daybreak. Winds becoming calm as well, but a gorgeous Wednesday ahead of us. A lot of us finding our way into the low 70s, mostly sunny skies, a pleasant west wind at four to eight miles per hour. Back to the upper 60s, but with still plenty of sunshine for Thursday, partly to mostly sunny 71 on Friday. Had to add the uh, chance for a shower back into Saturday, but I don't expect the day to be a washout. Still a high around 70, but getting increasingly showery, David and Meg, as we look from sun day into the first part of next week.